This is Bontech's new reversed integrated drive gear assembly, the Ridga. It is apparently more precise and should yield better print surface quality. Let's give it a look. Inside this box is the fruit of a great collaboration between the open source community and probably one of the biggest aftermarket extruder supplier, Bontech. This new gear assembly integrates a few changes that should make quite a positive impact on your print quality. As demonstrated in my previous video, it does not take much to create a surface side effect when using a direct drive extruder. Every single variation will be transmitted to the nozzle without any dampening effect like it would on a Bowden setup. Let's measure these new units. Using a small rig that I printed in a dial gauge, I will take two eccentricity measurements, one in the hub gear groove and the other one on the plastic gear. While I'm taking measurements in the background, I invite you to visit my Patreon page to get advanced insights on my projects. As a patron, you will be able to follow the evolution of my research on various topics. Only some of these topics will then make it to YouTube. Let's start with the measurement at the hub gear, which is probably the most critical dimension. All five units for this new integrated shaft have scored below 20 microns for an averaging value of 12.7 microns. Now let's bring back the values from the previous assemblies. The five units I have in hand from the old design have an eccentricity averaging 71 microns. This means that the new design is about six times more precise than the old one. Bontech has managed to improve the concentricity of their extruder hub gear by making this new gear out of a single piece of metal. The previous version was made of two pieces assembled together and fixed by a set screw. This method was at the mercy of machining tolerances, giving the set screw the ability to pull the gear out of its center. Although there is still a slight offset on the new gears, we have to remain realistic on what is achievable. 12 microns represents about one-fifth of a human hair and is about the same size as a pollen particle. Reducing this furthermore would mean a massive increase in production costs. The plastic drive gear, on the other hand, has seen its mold redone in order to achieve the same level of precision than the machine pump gear I received from Fisetk last fall. The gears produced with this new mold have an average eccentricity value of 36.6 microns. If we compare with the previous design, we can observe two things. First, the new gear is definitely more precise. Second, the variability in the production process from the previous design made it a hit or miss story. I only have five units of this version, so I may have been unlucky with this rogue unit at 200 microns. This is the height of a print layer. The average value for all these five units is 132 microns. Now that we have the data, let's put those readings to test. Since I don't have more of this blue filament used previously, let's reinstall one of the first generation gear and redo our baseline using this nice Iri One two color silk filament. By the way, I am still using a bearing as the idler hub gear for two reasons. First, it works awesome. The print quality is great and I don't have any traction issue. Second, I wanted this test to be isolated from the filament walk theory that I alluded to into my previous video. See more on this by clicking the link above. So here's our baseline print. Now let's switch for this new shiny gear. One thing you need to know about this new gear is that the shaft ends of this new unit have 4 millimeters as opposed to previously 5 millimeters. This will require new bearings to be fitted into your extruder. For those of you using the Hextrudort as an extruder, Bontech has a kit available with all you need to make this installation as smooth as possible. Also, since this is a single piece unit that cannot be taken apart, you may need to modify your extruder body to facilitate the installation. Especially with this reversed version, just like I had on the Extrudort, I needed to redrill the body so I could push the gear through from the back. This modification has already been incorporated into a few versions of the Hextrador. A few other tweaks aimed at increasing reliability and performance were also thrown in the basket for this revision. And off we print. 
While the cylinder is rising up, you have just a few seconds to hit the subscribe button and be right back to see the results. And don't forget to hit the bell. And now, the moment of truth. Will this new Bontech, more precise gear give you better print quality? Look at that. Major difference between these two. The repeating artifact is almost gone. The remainder is not related to the extrusion system as the Bowden print done previously shows the exact same result. This new gear assembly, the Ritga, is now available from Bontech as of today. You can find the link here below in the video description. The Ritga should fit most extruders with a reversed gear installation just like the Hextradort, where the hub groove sits closer to the plastic gear. The regular BMG has it the other way around, and for this reason, the Ritga is not compatible with the BMG extruder. Printing with these new gears is awesome. You can feel how the print is much smoother to the touch. Let's give these prints a bit of magic by using some internet lighting. I would like to take a few moments to thank Bontech for their collaboration. The community has used their components into a variety of tiny drive extruders, sometimes mounted in ways that were never intended to or covered by the original design. We pushed these gears to their limits, and we realized we needed more. Thank you Bontech for listening to our request and making this a success story. And special thanks to my friend Nuno at Bontech, who's been such a great facilitator along the way. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you get to try these new gears, how you like them. Meanwhile, happy printing!